Okay, so we are doing the water drop project and we're gonna do all of the editing in Lightroom for this project. So you're gonna take your image, so we have our images that we took yesterday, and uh, you're gonna find one where the water drop is uh, separated from the, um, the background a little bit. And I'm just gonna grab one really fast here. Let's see, we want to uncheck all, but this is the one we wanna pull in. Important. Now yours should have lots of color on there. Um, this one was taken with just a white background. But once you get the uh, image into Lightroom through the library and the import dialog box, uh, you should have your image here. You're gonna go to, to develop. And one of the things you're gonna do is you're gonna crop the image. So this is actually a pretty good one. I'm gonna do auto tone really fast to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And we are going to, um, you're gonna edit the image to your liking using the sliders. So once you get it the way you want it, so I'm just gonna add a little contrast to this. And I really wanna bring out the blacks. Make it real contrasty here. And bring up the highlights a little bit. Good. Um, and then I wanna remove all saturation from the image, make it completely black and white. But you're gonna add color to yours, because yours is in color. All right, so to crop it into the four by six aspect ratio, you have some tools here. This is essentially your toolbar, just like you would have in Photoshop. So we have our crop option here, and right here where it says original, you'll have an option for four by six. So it'll put it into the aspect ratio. Now, th since this was taken on a crop censored camera, it will already be in a four by six aspect ratio. But what we wanna do is make sure that this drop is, is uh, right where it needs to be. So um, I really wanna focus on that. So I'm just gonna put that right there in that crosshair enter to, to lock it in and then the uh, the you're gonna be doing two images so the second one so once you get your edit done you're going to right click create a virtual copy here and then you can add um, whichever um, preset that you would like and you can see a little preview of what it's gonna look like up here so I'm just gonna add a really strong vignette on mine because I, I really want to add that says so that black and white stuff and there's our final image. So to export these out and add your signature watermark, this is one of the really cool things about Lightroom is it makes this stuff very simple and really quick to do. I'm gonna select all of my images by hitting Command A or Control A on a PC. So both of these are highlighted. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to export, export again. And then we have our um, options here. So you can export it to a specific folder. So I'm just gonna put mine to the desktop for the moment. And you can choose a custom text if you want. So you can name it anything that you want. I'm going to leave it as is. You can choose the quality. So we, of course we want 100. The image format is JPEG and this is what it should be. And then coming down to watermark, you want to make sure that this is clicked. Okay. And when you click on this and you hit this drop down box, you're going to have edit watermarks right there. This is going to allow you to add your signature PNG, which should already be on your thumb drives. All right, and when you click on that, it's gonna bring up our options here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna locate um, your signature PNG. There's mine. Click choose. And it shows you this is where it's gonna be. So it's black on black, so that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to move this to a spot on the image where I can actually see it. So we're gonna move it up here a little bit. And then using the sliders, I can kind of move things around a little bit. So we're gonna move it down. I'm gonna move it in, in just a little bit more just like that. I can also change the size of it, make it bigger or smaller. I'm gonna keep it just kind of small for now. And then I'm gonna click Save. So we'll call this Burn Upper Left. So that way if I ever wanna use this, I know that it's gonna populate it in the upper left corner, right? And then click Create. So now under here, you can choose, there's already some that are preset in there, so you can go set a whole bunch of different um, types of watermarks for different sizes or situations or whatever. And then we click export. Simple as that, it's gonna put these onto my desktop. You should probably send these to your thumb drive or to a folder that you can easily uh, access. And now if we go look at our image here, so here's one of them. There you go, you can see my signature watermark there in the upper left-hand corner. And let's look at the other one, just for giggles. This is the one without the vignette, you can see it much better. And that's what you're gonna be doing. And then you're gonna be submitting both of these image, images into Google Classroom. All right, hit me up if you have any questions. Uh, make sure that you like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell. Just kidding, you don't have to do all that. Anyway, have a good day.